new marathon, half marathon, and 10K coming to the capital city next month. And with the extra attention on the sport of running, I wanted to help you catch the running fever. What in the world am I wearing, you ask? Well, tomorrow at 7, the first of my series, 0 to 5K, I went to an exercise science lab at USC to learn what happens to the body when running. That really stimulates or revs up the system in a lot of ways and uh, uh, provides benefits to, to many of the physiologic systems in the body. Catch my 0 to 5K story tomorrow on the news at 7, especially if you want to start running. Some of you have been training and you are ready for the new marathon, half marathon, and 10K coming to the capital city. Well, Dan Hartley is the race director of that. You will not make us wear <laughs> one of those VO2 max no, masks. No, you don't have to do that. Hopefully your VO2 max is up, uh, up yeah, already. Uh, yeah. For people who are already trained for the 10K, the half uh, marathon, or the full marathon, you wanted to provide this marathon because it's been several years since Columbia right. had this. That's right. It's been almost right at about 12 years almost exactly since there was a marathon in Columbia. Absolutely. And so there's a lot of interest. You yourself are a, an ultra marathoner, which means right. you do 50 miles and 100 miles, <laughs> which is so amazing to us. But for people watching, what would you say to encourage them just to get off the couch and to go from zero running to being able to run just at least a few miles. Well, you, you nailed it. The first thing you got to do is actually get off the couch and doing mm -hmm. something. There's a there's a picture I see on Facebook a lot here lately. Maybe you've seen it where it shows regardless of what pace you're running, you're you're beating the guy still sitting on the couch. Uh -huh. So you got to get off the couch. Mm -hmm. And and I always tell everybody, first thing you need to do is just run to the end of the block and then mm -hmm. walk a little bit. Run another block and come mm -hmm. back. And the next day that's a little bit easier. And the next day that's it's even a little bit easier. And just keep adding to that distance. Mm -hmm. Within no time, you're running a 5K. And if you still enjoy it, add to that distance. And I, I can promise almost anybody mm -hmm. that I can, you know, I, or not just me, but a lot of people could run a marathon mm -hmm. and complete a marathon inside of six months if you really want to do it. And do it properly. Absolutely. What's going to be special about your race coming up in March? The biggest thing that's going to be special about this event is that it's here in Columbia, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's been 12 years since mm -hmm. we've had one, and we are going all out. I've got a team of about 12 dedicated volunteers. Volunteers that are uh, volunteer captains, mm -hmm. and we're do we're spending a tremendous amount of time to make this an incredible event, not just another race on any given weekend. This is a race that's generating. Uh, we've got we've got folks coming from more than 30 states around the country, mm -hmm. uh, Germany, Canada. Uh, this is going to be a, a running event like no other the city has ever seen. And Dan, here's the information: It is Saturday, mm -hmm. March 10th, starting at 7 a.m. We meet in downtown Columbia for the start, which will be at Park and Senate Streets. And if you go to the Big Red 10 under today's date on our website, all the information is there. And I must be honest with viewers, we did a preview run That's right. of the course, about what, 40 or 50 of us last uh, weekend? I believe there was about 60. Okay, yeah. there were a lot of us out there. It's hilly. <laughs> I kept yelling, Dan Hartley! Well, guess what? There's hills in Columbia. Well, yes, there are, and you picked every one of them, but it's an excellent <laughs> course. You've got to do this race. Ben?